Miss Charlie's class. You need help with homework? It's Miss Charlie's class. I got you. It's Miss Charlie's class. What about if you didn't understand something in class? It's Miss Charlie's class. <laughs> I got you. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we are focusing on Module 3, Lesson 35, where we are going to learn how to multiply using an area model and partial products. That's right, you heard me correctly. As a friendly reminder, you guys, we are going to have to do something called decomposing our numbers in order to multiply using an area model. Decomposing means to break numbers down. It means to break numbers good, down by its place value. So we have the two numbers, 20 and 32, and we have to multiply them. Out of 20 and 32, which one of these numbers makes the most sense to decompose? 20 or 32? If you said 32, you're absolutely correct. And I can decompose 32 by its place value. 32 equals blank plus blank. If you're stuck, ask yourself, how many tens do you have? How many ones do you have? That's right, 32 equals 30 plus two. So now that we've decomposed 32, we can place our numbers on our area model. Here we go. Our first number is 20. Our first number, we want to get in the habit of putting it on the side. Our second number is 32. We want to get in the habit of putting our second number at the top. And now we multiply. We are going to multiply our number on the side, 20, by every single number at the top. Hmm, by every single number at the top. So what's the first number that we are multiplying 20 by? 20 times, yes, 30, 20 times 30. And then what's going to be the second number that we're multiplying 20 by? Yeah, 20 times two, hmm. Here's the thing, y'all. I do not know 20 times 30, but I do know two times three. What's two times three? Yeah, six. And how many zeros did I take away to solve this problem? And the number 20, how many zeros did I have to take away to get the number two? And the number 30, how many zeros did I have to take away to get the number three? Yeah, I had to take away two zeros all together. So 20 times 30 equals 600. Now let's do the same thing for 20 times two. I don't know 20 times two, but I do know Two times two, which is four. And how many zeros did I take away to get that, get this answer? If you said one, you're absolutely correct. So I'm gonna put one zero behind my four. We've just identified our partial products for this area model. 600 and 40 is our second partial product. Now let's go ahead and add them so that we can figure out our actual product. 600 plus 40 equals? If you said 640, you're absolutely correct. If you said 600 and 40, make sure you're taking out that word and, because and means there's a decimal, and we don't have decimals in this number. Let's try one more, and then it's your turn to practice. Complete the following multiplication problem. 50 times 41. Same as before, we have to decompose or break it down. Which number makes the most sense to decompose? 50 or 41? If you said 41, you're absolutely correct. 41 equals blank plus blank. Think about it. How many tens do you have? How many ones do you have? That's right, 41 equals 40 plus one. As a friendly reminder, I know that we are a few minutes into our video, but 
Please make sure that you have your paper and pencil with you and that you are doing these problems with Ms. Turner. It's okay to pause the video and make sure that you draw your area model in those blanks. Let's keep going. Who remembers? What number is going to go on the side? Is it going to be my first number or my second number? That's right. Your first number is always going to go on that left-hand side. Our second number then is going to go on the top. And we decomposed our second number to make 40 plus 1. So we're going to make sure we put that decomposed number at the top. Now we multiply. What two numbers are we going to multiply first? Here's a hint if you're getting stuck. This is our first box. Look all the way on top of your first box to see what you're multiplying 50 by first. So I'm multiplying 50 times. That's right, 40. And now let's do the same thing for our second box. What am I going to multiply 50 by next? Good, 1. All right, here we go. 50 times 40. I don't know 50 times 40, but I do know. Yeah, 5 times 4, which is 20. And now, you guys, in order to solve 50 times 40, I took away 1 zero from here and 1 zero from here. How many zeros did I take away altogether? Yes, two zeros. So put those two zeros back in, and don't forget your comma if you have more than two zeros. 2,000. Now let's multiply 50 times 1. Oh, we don't have to take away any zeros here because anything times 1 is that number. So what's 50 times 1? For sure, 50. And same as before. Add your two partial products. Make sure you're going in order. And what do I get when I add 2,050 together? Good. 2,050. All right, you guys. Last one. In this problem, you guys are going to do most of the work. Pause the video. Step one. Oh, don't pause the video just yet, sorry. Step one, I want you to identify which of these numbers you're going to decompose and how would you decompose it. So choose the number you're decomposing and then I want you to figure out how you're gonna decompose that using an addition sentence. Pause the video now. All right, you should have paused the video. I'm now unpaused. What number did you choose to decompose? Me too. 73. How do we decompose 73? Good. 70 plus 3. All right, you're going to pause the video again. This time, I want you to fill in your area model. I want you to see which number is going to go on the side and what numbers are going to go on the top. Go. I should be unpaused. What number did you put on the side? Good, 60. And what number did you put on the top? Good, 70 plus 3. All right, now you're going to pause the video again. This time, I want you to tell me what two numbers I'm multiplying here to figure out my first partial product and what two numbers I'm multiplying here to figure out my second partial product. Go. All right, I should be unpaused. What two numbers did you multiply here so that we can find our first partial product? If you said 60 times 70, you're perfectly correct. What about here? If you said 60 times 3, you're perfectly correct. All right, now you're going to pause the video and you're going to start finding your partial products by multiplying. Get ready? Go. 
I should be unpaused. What do we get for 60 times 70? How'd you get that? Did you use the trick? Taking away your zeros and then multiplying six times seven and then adding those two zeros back in? If you did, awesome job. What about 60 times three? I got the same thing. Did you use the trick here and multiply six times three? and add your zeros back when you were done? <laughs> me too. All right, y'all, take me home. Go ahead and add your two partial products and find your product. Did you get 4,380? If you did, you are absolutely correct. All right, y'all. Oh, let me go back for a second so that friends can pause the video. If you need to pause the video to see the answers um, and double check your work, this last slide, you guys can do on your own at home. All right, so you can take a moment, pause the video, and then I want you guys to go ahead and practice with this problem. You can also go back to other problems earlier in the video and practice as well. Continue doing these problems until you memorize how to multiply and how to, um, which numbers to multiply, all right? So this is going to be your challenge problem, your homework per se. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.